The first annual 2023 Sling and Baits Bank Masters Catfish Tournament. Presented by Sling and Baits, one of Kansas's most premier bank fishing catfish tournaments, held annually each year at a Kansas State Lake. This year, Catfish Tournament takes place at Marion Reservoir in Marion, Kansas. With just over 6,000 acres of water, Marion Reservoir definitely has enough places to hide some trophy catfish. The stage is set, and we're excited to see what catches are brought to the weigh-in scale. Here's how it works. Experienced and beginner catfish anglers from all across Kansas and the nation will compete in a one-day catfish tournament. The winners will be determined by the total cumulative weight of the five largest catfish caught by each team. And a bonus prize will also be awarded to the team who catches the biggest catfish. The rules are simple, bank fishing only. No boats or kayaks allowed, and you can only use rod and reel to catch catfish. The target species is catfish, so it must have whiskers to be eligible for scoring. All catfish must be alive for scoring, and any dead catfish will not be counted. When it's all said and done, whatever team has the highest cumulative weight catches the biggest catfish will win bragging rights for the year. 40 anglers, 20 teams, one catfish tournament. Who will be number one and take home the crown? Which team will claim the biggest catfish caught? You can watch it all unfold right from your favorite couch or chair. So kick back and join Slingin' Baits for a tournament day full of slippery, oozy catfish slime. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, JC. Let's head down to the weigh-in station and check out Team Brown and oh. Company Adventures Big Catch. Let's get this thing started. Looks like Randy and Christy are the first team on the board with a whopping nine-pound, four-ounce catfish. Hey, good job, Christy and Randy. What a fantastic way to start the morning, man. That's awesome. Man, look at that catfish. It's a whopper. Yes, sir. Look, it almost filled up this gorilla car. Y'all say what's up to little Artie. He the only kid in the catfish tournament this year, so shout out to his dad, Zach, for bringing him out here to the catfish tournament this year. That's dope, man. They out there having fun, just catching good vibes at the lake, so. That's dope, man. Salute to you, Zach, for being a good pops, man. That's dope. Why, Zach finna pull out a whale. He finna pull out a whale. Uh-oh. Okay, not bad, Zach. Okay, Strasburg. Oh! Ooh, better hang on to that catfish or else it might slip away. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Looks like Team Strasburgs are not far behind. With their biggest catch of the day, weighing six pounds and eight ounces to put them in second place. Good job, fellas. Oh my goodness, he almost lost the catfish. <laughs> that catfish almost got away. I know Zach was quick though, he dropped right on top of that catfish. That's what I'm talking about, dog. I would've did the same thing. <laughs> Looks like Team Oklahoma Dirtbags caught one catfish and one turtle. Jared's three pound, nine ounce catfish will be enough to get Team Oklahoma Dirtbags on the board and puts him in third place. Dang turtles, man. I hate them turtles when I be catfish. Okay, okay, Randy, I like to set up, dog. Yes, sir. Topeka in the house. After landing that big nine pound catfish on her lucky ugly stick, Christy is hoping her luck will keep Brown and Company Adventures in the lead. We'll see how they finish up later on at the official weigh-in. She got the ugly stick magic. Looks like Chris and Jesse are definitely putting some catfish on the bank as they almost hit the five catfish limit. Nice setup, fellas. And with this four pound, one ounce catfish, Team Master Baiters moves into third place. Good job, fellas. <laughs> hey, team name is funny. This stuff though, word around the tournament trail was Team Master Baiters with the locals from Hillsboro. They said they had it in the bag before it even started. So we're going to see us a lot of teams that look like they're going to make a run for the big money. So. It's time for weigh-in. So let's see how all the teams finished up for the day. We're going to see who the bank masters of the year is. We're 
We're going to find out today. Looks like brothers Rodney and Rodney Sr. brought some nice catches to the scale. Nice job, fellas. Hey, everybody showed out with the uniforms. One of these tournaments, we're going to get in there with y'all. With a total bag weight of nine pounds, two ounces, Two Brothers Catfishing moves into second place. Good job, fellas. Salina in the house. Oh, that's a whole lot of catfish slime. Looks like Malcolm and Thomas had a good day on the lake as well. Good job, fellas. Nice setup, fellas. Voodoo Boys is not playing. Hey, Malcolm, I'm going to hit you up too, dog. I know you hit me up about oh, doing snaps. the collab, so we going to get to that, dog. Let's it's, getting real, it's getting real shifty at the weigh-in scale. Let's see. They might jump in first place. I don't know. They got a nice bag. John said he would have came. He had to go to his wedding, though. <laughs> Dang, John. I feel your pain, dog. I would have went to my wedding, too. Let's see what Malcolm and Thomas got. Okay, look like the Voodoo Boys ain't playing. With a total bag weight of 15 pounds, 2 ounces, the Voodoo Boys moves into first place and takes the lead. Good job, fellas. It look like he ain't playing no games. Yes, sir. Looks like Bobby and David mean business with two buckets full of catfish. We're going to find out who the bank master of the year is. We're going to find out today. It's a lot of good catches being brought to the skill. Oh, that's a slab. Uh-oh, it's getting real hot. It's heating up up here at the weigh-in station. Okay, they pulling all kind of catfish out the bucket. Ooh, that's another nice catch. That look like that's about eight to ten pounds of catfish right there. They got some nice catches. That one was a, that one a little bit smaller. That one chunky too. We're going to see who the bank masters of the year is. We're going to find out today. Let's add them up. Let's add them up, fellas. Oh, these are some nice catches, fellas. Uh-oh, here comes Team Eubanks. Oh, he got, he got a couple more. One more. Uh-oh. With a total bag weight of 18 pounds, 5 ounces, the River Rats move into first place and take the lead. Good job, fellas. Okay. The River Rats coming to slay. Okay, y'all some bank masters. Ooh, okay, but Voodoo, hey, Voodoo's still in it and Brown and Cole. Looks like the father-son duo, Robert and Trevor's only catch of the day is just enough to get their team on the board. With a total bag weight of two pounds, five ounces, Team Eubanks moves into eighth place. Good job, fellas. Hutch in the house. Good job, man, way to crack that top team. Yes, sir. Out of 20 teams, though, that's pretty good. In the standards to be top team. Looks like the father-son duo, Zach and Artie, came to claim their share of the $500 first place cash prize. Ooh, they got a six-pounder. Okay. It don't look like nobody going to be able to catch Brown and Cole for the big catfish. It's getting real slimy up here at the weigh-in station. With a total bag weight of 23 pounds, one ounce, the Strasburgs move into first place and take the lead. Good job, fellas. Oh, okay. Dang, 23 pounds and one ounce. Oh, that's a whole lot of catfish slime. Let's see how Ben and Ollie finished up today. Oh, oh, hold up now. Catch and Cook look like they in the building. Oh, these are some nice catches, fellas. Catching Cook coming for that big bag. Dang, that's crazy, though. The Strasburgs got 23 pounds. They shot right to the top. Okay, top three. Let's see what Catching Cook gonna do. It still don't look like nobody gonna catch Brown and Cole Adventures. Randy and Christy got that big cat on the lock. They got some nice catches, though.
Wow, with a total bag weight of 17 pounds, 8 ounces, Team Catch and Cook shoots to the top and lands in third place. Good job, fellas. Catch and Cook ain't playing. Hey, they swung in third place on them. Strasburg's in first, River Rats, Catch and Cook, they all in the money. As more teams close in on the top three spots, we'll see if Dwayne and Brock have enough catfish to keep them in the race for the money. Oh, Dwayne in there wrestling some catfish. Let's see what the bank bankroll's gonna do. Ooh, that's a slab. Let's see if they gonna tip the skill. See how far they can climb up in the rankings. KC in the house. Right from Missouri. Let's see what Dwayne and Brian got. They pulling all kind of slabs out the cooler. Hey, Dwayne, I owe you one too, dog, man. I was supposed to go fishing with Dwayne and the next day, but it was Father's Day. My kids wanted to hang out and stuff, so. I owe you one, dog. For real, for real. Hey, I like that uniforms too. Everybody uniforms is on point, man. I love it. With a total bag weight of 11 pounds, four ounces, Team Bank Bros gets on the board and lands in fifth place. Good job, fellas. Hey, not bad, Bank Bros. Way to crack that top five spot. Hey, good job, Dwayne and Brian. Repping KC. Looks like Jared ended up catching another catfish to add to his limit. Okay. Oklahoma in the house. The dirt bags. The dirty, dirty baby. Jared, look, he got some hogs, though. Hey, Jerry came by earlier in the tournament. We had a conversation for about 30 minutes. Jerry, real cool. I like Jerry. I was rooting for Jerry, too. I was hoping he caught some big and hogs. And with a total bag weight of nine pounds even, Team Oklahoma Dirtbag stays on the board and moves back into eighth place. Okay, Oklahoma in the house. Way to get in our top ten, Jerry. Yes, sir. Good job, dog. Jerry was the only solo participant in the tournament. So shout out to Jerry, man. He was doing it solo. You got to come back next year, dog. Uh-oh. Masturbators coming to the scale. The locals. We're going to see if they got enough to crack the scale. They coming for that number one spot. I know. I, I knew out of all teams they was going to be there to compete, though. Just because they locals and they know they're late. Ooh, they got some nice catches. I don't know, this might be close, y'all. It's looking close. Let's add them up. They got about a four pounder. Still ain't nobody caught Brown and Cole Adventures. Let's see what the total bag weight is. I like their uniforms too. The locals from Hillsboro, Jesse and Chris, Bring in a total bag weight of 17 pounds, 6 ounces as Team Master Baiters jump on the board and move into fourth place. Good job, fellas. Not bad, not bad, Master Baiters. 17 pounds, that's not bad. Good job, man. Way to crack that top five. Let's see what the Supreme Cats got. Supreme Cats, I like their team name, too. That's a dope name. They got a couple nice ones. Supreme Cats. Big cat, four pound, another four pound big cat. That's that's not bad. Looks like Dave on and Mike caught a few nice catfish for the day. With a total bag weight of eight pounds, one ounce, Team Supreme Cats gets on the board and lands in 10th place. Good job, fellas. Yes, sir. Way to crack that top team, y'all. Man, I love seeing all the local teams, especially from Wichita, man, because that's my home city. With only one catch for the day, Anton and Richard are still hoping they're still in the race to win the biggest catfish bonus. With a total bag weight of three pounds, seven ounces, Team Cat Daddies gets on the board and lands in 11th place, just under the top 10 mark. Good job, fellas. Not bad, not bad, y'all. Well, it looks like Brown and Co. Adventure gets the bragging rights for the biggest catfish this year with a whopping nine pound one ounce channel catfish yes sir congratulations to randy and christy and i hope to see y'all again next year i had a chance to meet some of the most amazing people and catfish anglers on this planet and as always i just want to say thank y'all for choosing to be a part of slinging base nation and i can't wait to see everybody again next year so that pretty much wraps it up well that's it folks 
That about wraps up our first annual 2023 Sling and Baits Bank Masters Catfish Tournament. Congratulations to all the winners, and thank you to all the other teams who participated and for making our catfish tournament fun, friendly, and competitive. Thank you to all you wonderful folks out there for tuning in, and until next year, folks, this presentation is brought to you by Sling and Baits. Yes, sir. Big ups to the champs this year, the Bank Masters of the Year. Strasburg. Yes, sir. They get the bragging rights this year for winning the first annual, the first ever, the most legendary bank catfishing tournament ever. Slinging Bay's Bank Masters Catfish Tournament. Shout out to the Strasburgs, man. Y'all did y'all thing. And y'all are now in the Hall of Fame. Yes, sir. I got my rod and my bait. I'm headed down to the lake. Let's go catfishing with slinging baits. We slinging them baits down by.